G'day everyone, how you going? I'm Crazy Cat Dad. Welcome back to another extinction video of Call of Duty Ghosts, obviously. Um, today we're going to play the next map of the actual missions, and that is, uh, what's it called? Uh, let's get back to it. Bear with me. Choose the map. Bonus map, Nightfall. It is Nightfall. So a snow map, totally different to the first one we went to. Um, it definitely ramps up the difficulty on this one, 100% to the first one. Um, yeah, but as you guys know, I'm a, I'm a genius, like I said, self-proclaimed genius. But anyway, if you guys are, uh, are new here, then my face only comes and goes momentarily. So without further ado, we're about to get started. And while we're having a loading screen, enjoy the fact that Bella just went past us and we're gonna have a kitty cam. So let's go. Guys, if you're new here and you don't know, so basically what we're going to do is we have to. Uh, why can I? Whoop. Excuse me? Oh, oh my god! I don't know why that happened. Alright, so if you're new here, we basically have to take this drill to the locations that it shows you, and we've got to destroy them. There's a little trick you can do to get up the drill. You kind of just drop it and then jump and spam it. And you'll pick it up as you keep going. So, Watch out! so we have challenge, and that gives us skill points, and more skill points, the better equipment we have, and arsenal moving forward. Pretty straightforward. And while doing so, we need to stay alive and protect the drill. It gets harder and harder, just like zombies, but this is its own game, 100%. So a trick for this guys is you stun them with a knife and then you shoot once. And then you just knock them. Hopefully you get this accuracy challenge now instead of later where it's just the cryptids, the small ones, the scouts. Um, but if you do get them later, hopefully your equipment and your traps are good and you're able to do it that way. It'd be really like 
Just careful with your bullets. But 50% at this start of the game, pretty easy. Just do what I did, and you won't have any issues. Starts off pretty slow, guys. Um, they don't want to overwhelm you. Uh, you still need to build your arsenal. So it's pretty similar to zombies. Um, and then it will slowly build up. The worst part about it is you get complacent at this lower levels, and then out of nowhere, it randomly will um, ramp up, and you might go down a couple of times. Bit of a kick in the face, but there you go. That's the second hive completed. We do need to make sure that I have ammo, so I always go with when I'm running pistols only. I always make sure my pistols got the extended mag plus the muzzle, um, and then I run normal ammo always by myself because it gives you the best, most amount of ammo with the least amount of upgrades. So um, I'll get it to that stage there, level three, and then I don't worry about it till near the end. You guys are enjoying the uh, playthrough so far make sure you leave a like and hit that subscribe button there are more extinction videos and more like this coming your way make sure you check out what it is alrighty so as usual I'm at 6,000 I want to make sure I make it use my money now this one's not to reload for 60 seconds as easy as buy just don't shoot essentially so even if you do hit the reload button you're not going to fail it now I know we've got a... Oh, okay, we've got a scorpion coming in, so I actually use that at the right time. But I do want him to take this scorpion out. And we're going to go back and pick up the other flare in just a second. Let's have a quick look here, there we go. Don't be too worried about them on the drill. Um, it always resets to 100% each time you drop it, uh, so I don't really worry too much. The only time I do is if it's a challenge that actually requires me to keep it at a certain percentage, and they're absolutely destroying it, so... Okay, so I can't remember what those things are called, but they introduced that into this mission. Um, they weren't there in the previous uh, point of contact. And what they do is there's a 30% like a chance that it will spawn. Um, it could be a scorpion at that time. And if it does, it really shocks you because you just don't really have the equipment or the armory to take it down efficiently without going down. So they actually expect you to to die a lot of times in those places. Um, but you get used to it, you've got upgrades and and eventually you have everything upgraded and these starting mission like hives aren't too too much of an issue. So of course this is pistols only, I'm only gonna be running the pistols. I don't do too much searching through the things. 
appeal because I don't get attachments, it's more just money or grenades and stuff, and I don't really need to without taking Okay, so this one's without taking damage. Definitely throw a flare down. And there we go. Now that one can be pretty easily failed, to be honest. There's a chance that they've already spawned in before you've read it and they're already coming after you. So, before you read it and then you're like, oh, I think then all of a you're dead. So, <laughs> they're not dead, but they hit you and you fail. So, always handy to have a flare in those situations, which I did. Basically what I use to, like the criteria I use to choose to spend my money on when I hit that $6,000 is, do I need ammo? No. Then I basically just go with the opposite and go armor. If I need ammo, I will definitely get ammo, but currently in like the, the top range of my ammo, I don't really need it. Now I actually activated that big boy a little too early. I did not want to do that. But I think we're going to be okay. So you want to just get out of the way when he does this because you die really quick. But once you come out, unload into him some more. Didn't really get a lot of, a lot of hits on him there. That he's done. And he goes. I'm sure we'll see him later, won't we? At this point, you have to assume Dr. Cross is among the casualties. We'll ID the body leader. Archer is now our priority. Bring him out in handcuffs or a body bag. So, just like the last mission that I would, uh, you'll see in point of contact when you get these like big hives or little places that you have to go through that give you a good cash back is always spend your money before you uh, pick it up because it gives you some. 2000 is not much but it's fine. Show you where some of the uh, secret intel is. I've got them all but I'll make sure I point them out for you. when something's about to pop out of that because it makes that banging noise like it's trying to get out and there's a big chance that that's going to be a rhino 
I was lucky there was only a scorpion. I was supposed to be killing him. Though. Things hit you very hard without armor on. Even with armor, they just tear you up. Tear you another asshole. Expecting this uh, this one here to open up very soon. I can hear something inside of it crashing around. There we go.
thing to do is not panic when you see the uh, drills getting damaged. It does tell you very early, like at 75 or 80 percent, that it's getting damaged. Then, as it goes down, the quicker and quicker it will go down. So they've made it like make sure that you actually do protect it. But you'll see if it got down to like 30%, it will go from 30 to 0 in like very, very quick. But 70, 80 to 30, a lot slower. So awesome, I love it. Alrighty. So I do want to max out my shields first before I go to the next one. I'm gonna leave that trophy for now. Nice. Pick up a locker key, that will always that's one thing they actually have in this mission is lockers. Um, pistols only obviously uh, there's no point in picking them up or using them, but just to show you, you open a key and you'll get like an LSAT, which is a gun that I would normally use if I was on my Xbox account it was fully maxed out and I wasn't using the relic for pistols only but anyway so you have some intel in here usually is is, is a place that you'll find it Great, and another locker key there you go I'm not too sure if it's these panels now it's on the ground I'll quickly show you a couple of locations for the intel that are definite spots so I'm gonna cut to those I could put this to use So we got one right here. Yeah. We got one right here. So there's your two intel places outside. Great, I can use this. I picked it up because I know I'm not going to be out of here for much longer. Nice. And a flare might come in handy, but I'm not going to pick it up yet. Anyway, we better get to the drill because they allow you like a bit of a downtime, but if you take too long, they just start coming. And it's just like zombies then, it just basically gets harder, harder, and harder. And uh, to the point that no matter how good you are, you're dead. Great, I can use this. God damn, I hate this mission. Hunters on the move.
Electric trap online. Give you a little tip for is you may not know this what I just did. Because I didn't really need ammo, but it was good to have max. Oh these scorpions piss me off. Okay, so each time you finish a hive, you get about a thousand for completing it. Now if you're sitting at about five thousand, then you're gonna get maxed out. So what you should do is if is like spend some money get your ammo or your extra shield that you need or armor or whatever you call it um, throw it down and then you'll come back and you'll have about the same so it's not like you're either gonna max like go from max back up to max with more shit or you're gonna be going continued with less than max but with more shit essentially like you never even like yeah you get the idea anyway hopefully So this one's actually quite interesting. It's actually quite hard to do. It is it when you have the Cryptid Slayer ammo, because that has all the ammo in one. And the little Seekers that blow up, they're really dangerous, but they have a big radius about where they can do damage. And the fact that that's spawning right there in front of me, I want to get away to the fire. Just shoot from a distance. sure that you do is you've got to really pay attention to the asteroids dropping in and where they come from and then you've got to choose your location there there onwards where you should go
sounded like. But it couldn't be. Archer's dead. Right? He'll be coming for me. You might have missed that, but just as I complete the mission, um, the challenge, the seeker actually came and caused damage to me. So I was literally like half a second away or a second or two away from failing that mission. Now we're going to have a rhino right here. Don't need to kill him. He just basically tells you to fuck off and runs away. So one thing I've got in this mission as well is the, uh, what is it called, the special gun, I can't remember what it's called. Um, I'll show you over here, it's that gun right there, you can see two of them. Now they do a lot of damage, um, pistols only, you can't pick it up anyway, so I don't really bother. And usually when I'm running non pistols only, I don't pick it up anyway because it just, it tends to be a little bit, a bit annoying to go from pistols to your AR or your, your primary to the special weapon and then sort of making sure that when you pick ammo up that it's the right ammo uh, it, it comes really annoying where this area has two traps the two top traps and it, I'll show you it's gonna do all the magic for you but anyway so I always start with this one because if you run if you're playing with anyone they're gonna want that gun I do it anyway just because it's easy we got some circle we just gotta kill ten of them in there it's very straightforward there's number one trap Number two. We're gonna abuse them in this next like 20 minutes or so of gameplay. Until we get to the boss, basically. Quick I just went from absolutely winning to almost dead. It's amazing how much they just like ram things up just randomly.
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, there we go, we finally got it. The double Kim well, the Kimbo pistols. Let's get it. So I'm just gonna go through more ammo. But we're gonna be more deadly. So From here I like to do this one over here in the corner. I don't know why, it's just because you can get swamped in this small area later on. I like to get out of the way early if I can. Nice. Electric trap ready. Electric trap is live. Hostiles on the drill. Looking at this far, you are an absolute trooper and a real support of my channel. And hopefully you're enjoying what you're doing, so... And hopefully by now, and I'm sure you have, you've hit that like and the subscribe button, haven't you? And maybe even shared it to a few friends. Anyway, I'll stop mucking around. Let's get to it. This one, this trap here, is about all you need. Electric it's going to do set. most of the work for you. Now this leper is like a hunter, but it's not. And if you shoot, it'll run away. So... There he goes. Got him with the drill. Uh, the, uh, the, the trap. He literally is like a hunter, but he doesn't have the red on him. He's just complete grey. 
and yeah, as soon as you shoot, he disappears. It's so annoying. There's people who don't know what that leper is will just see something and shoot, and it will just. It's a map that you can't even see. If only he was actually going to die after that. <laughs> he probably should. Anyway, so the next upgrade for this is the ammo one. Definitely need to do this because as you'll see, in a 20 foot radius, I don't know what feet are, that's, I think that's six, about 6 meters um, in real life, uh, web metric, um, it replenishes your ammo. So that's definitely one that you need because then you just stand next to the objective, throw your ammo out, and every, I think it's like 20 seconds, you'll get like a full mag, so definitely worth it. Anyway, this will be the second last half, and the last one will be up top, and then we have a surprise. Electric trap online. Scorpions, look out! Ready. Scorpion's incoming! 
Here's another uh, intel. Missed twice. Nice. I'm embarrassed about that. But here is another location for that. Hunters on the move. It's down.
that's it. That's all the hives. Now we're gonna have this big boy crash straight through. Very nice of him to open the pathway. We're right where we need to go. We've got a utility vehicle on the move at the north end of the compound. Archer's making a run for it. Just cut him off at the north Here we go. Get out there now. Best thing to do is apply behind you. for the very first time and he gets back up what you've got to do is just keep shooting at him and once you stop getting hit markers you're doing damage he's going to disappear so don't waste ammo and here's the very last in time right? now we should get a couple of rhinos here maybe a blue fucker there's that big boy Here we go. Last little bit. We've done it, we've killed him. I don't know his name, but we've killed him. And that is the end of Nightfall. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let's see some stats in just a second. Alright, so we've got 15 teeth, which is great for uh for anyone who's just starting the game or you've come back to it and you need some teeth, that's what you need to upgrade stuff. But anyway, let's have a look at this. 656 kills. Not too bad. Every thousand you get a free teeth. So most missions you'll get one. Anyway. Alrighty, thank you so much. If you've got all the way through it, you're a legend. You're an absolute trooper. Thank you so much. I do really do appreciate the support. Make sure you've liked, comment, subscribe for more content, and check out all the other stuff I've done. I'm Crazy Cat Dad, and goodbye.